Hello everyone. This is a short video about the small update of the 909 Hyatt module. I recently decided to build myself another Hyatt module. And while I was doing so, I discovered a small mistake that I have done in the schematic diagram. I have altered a couple of component values, so there are no changes to the Gerber files. I just want to say that in case you have downloaded the production files from my GitHub and already ordered the PCBs. But first things first. When I built my first Hyatt, I couldn't get hold of a logarithmic 100k and 1 mega ohm potentiometers for the open and closed Hyatt decay controls. So I used linear ones instead. However, after using the module for a while, I realized that I really wanted to have logarithmic pots instead so I could get better control of the decay setting, especially during a jamming session. And after ordering the components, I started to build one unit. I decided to use a stencil to apply the solder paste and place the components on the PCB before I used my heat bed to reflow the solder joints. And after that I soldered all the through hole components using the front panel to hold the jacks and pots in place. Finally I programmed the EEPROM with the Hyatt samples and inserted it into the socket. But when I started to test it out, I found out that it didn't work. So I started to troubleshoot and I soon found the issue. Let's head over to the KiCad schematic diagram and I will explain what I have done. So let's start by having a look at the schematic diagram. And uh, the changes that I have done is that I have replaced these two uh, decay pots for opened and closed uh, Hyatt with a uh, logarithmic type instead of the linear ones that I used in the, in the first uh, version. And if we look at the second page, I found uh, an error. It uh, turned out that I have mistyped. So instead of 470 picofarad, it was 470 nanofarads. And that is uh, like a thousand times off. Uh, please replace it with a 470 picofarad capacitor instead. Alright, so after fixing that, everything worked fine. I have also updated the front panel a bit and made an alternative front panel. There are no big changes to that, but I have changed the front signs a bit and I added a couple of holes for the panel screws. But nothing has moved, so the rest of the holes are in the same location. I have uploaded the new schematic diagram, the I-bomb, and the alternative Gerber files for the panel to my GitHub. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I see you soon again. Goodbye.